Now, in a world full of everyday stress, learning ways to take care of our minds is absolutely essential. Whether you're looking to handle your emotions better or simply to feel more positive and energetic, we have some advice for you. Now, psychologist and author Susanna Healy has penned the book The Seven Day Soul, which provides clear steps to think yourself happy. Good morning, Susanna. You're very welcome. Hi, Thanks Susanna. for having me. This is a different book in terms of, as Anna was saying, there are a myriad of books about self-help. This, this takes a different angle at it. You might tell us how and why. Yeah, I think it does. You're right, because it's... There's so many books on working on the self, and we do, I do talk about working on the self, but from the outwards in to some extent, because what I say is that kind of... There's an awful lot being said about rights, and, and rightly so, but we also have lots of responsibility. We have responsibilities to the world. Mm. And that makes our life very meaningful because what we do matters in the world and that's brilliant. So what I talk about is self-transcendence. In other words, working in the service of others and the world um, for the betterment of ourselves as well as the world. So it's kind of working outwards and that will make you happier as well. Do unto others ultimately and yeah. making yourself feel better as a result. Yeah. So the book is based on seven pillars and, and you might talk us through those. The first being generosity uh, and it might be it might mean being generous to somebody else in a very obvious day-to-day -day situation yeah uh, what I say is I talk about finding meaning in the mundane so in other words it's not about having to go to a yoga class or, or to go to some whatever you want to do of course do it but it's finding meaning in the everyday things that we can actually make practice to make ourselves better people so for example um, <clears throat> in generosity, we might be generous in spirit. So we might actually give somebody a compliment where you might be just thinking it. And you know something, you actually say it. Yeah. Even if it's slightly embarrassing or just go and say it because you have upped somebody's day, mm. yeah. do you know? Uh, so it might be giving something. That's the traditional way of generosity. It might be your time. So you might say this person is kind of hard work. Do you know something? You can actually push yourself a little harder to be to have a little exercise in kindness, generosity of spirit by just be giving them time or instead of jumping in with what you want to say, ask another question of what they want to say. Mm -hmm. you know? And that naturally leads on into the second pillar, which is gratitude. Mm -hmm. Just being yeah. thankful for moments of generosity, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. And being... And I kind of instead of like with the kids, um, sometimes I would have them around the table at dinner time. I'd say, OK, let's everyone take a time to say, what are we all grateful for today? And of course, people at the beginning think I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my family and all the rest of it. And the things that sometimes you <clears> agree, you're not really grateful for until you lose it or you're at risk of losing yeah. it. Whereas I say, be grateful for the fact that you, the shirt that you wanted to wear today was clean and ironed, you know, and ready to go when <laughs> yeah, you were dashing yeah. out the door. The basics. Yeah, be ready for the fact that you got three green traffic lights in a row when you were, uh, you know, when you were busy. That kind of stuff. The basic, basic stuff. And if you try and make that a pra daily practice and say, I have to be grateful for something new each day, then your radar is on looking for new stuff to be grateful for. Yeah. You know? I do say that to the kids at night actually going to bed. What was the best thing about today? And you'll often get quite a funny story that they would never yeah. naturally tell you. Yeah. You know, and you hear it then at bedtime when they're kind yeah, of, yeah. you know, trying to, to sleep carve out a few thoughts. extra minutes. And they, exactly, they're going to sleep with a smile on their face. Yeah. But maybe that's a that's a part B of that question. What were you really grateful for today? Yeah, and I know, I mean, I've done it with the kids and sometimes you, there's such thing as overkill as well. Yeah. I know, I know. Once the, one <laughs> of the kids... we're all tired. Yeah. <laughs> and once one of the kids turned to me and said, I'm grateful that tomorrow's Friday because you always yeah. forget to ask us on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brilliant. So, so that's yeah. Brilliant. You know, yeah, exactly, yeah. Forgiveness. Forgiveness, so yeah. yeah. Um, can we practice being patient or the size patience? It might be simply about actively getting back in touch but friends we might have lost touch with. Yeah, and, and it isn't easy. Um, it's, it's sometimes easier to give forgiveness to somebody else or teach, tell somebody else about, ah, oh, you should forgive them, you should let it go. But when it happens to us, it's hard work, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Um, so even little by little, sometimes saying, actually at the moment, I can't forgive them, but I can try and say, I am willing to try and see it from their point of view. Uh, mm. I don't agree with it. But I'm willing to try and see if it's a step you. towards forgiveness. It's what you can do. Sometimes yeah. it's the real, the reality. Something that I don't possess a lot of patience. Yeah. That's a pillar. Yeah, it I is. Need, I need to build that pillar. Yeah. <laughs> you work patience. on that one. I think just with kids as well, it's yeah. very easy to lose patience. Yeah, absolutely. And I know that, like, 
I know I found myself when I think the first time I ever noticed I need to work on patients was I was standing at an ATM to just put the card in and then the you know the ads came on up and you know the yeah, bank yeah, ads yeah. and you're going oh come on you know and you're going they're probably about three or four seconds. I know, yeah. And I couldn't wait that But we long. live in this instant world. Exactly. Where we just don't have time for that yeah. in our head. Exactly. So it's learning to patients um, in a traffic jam, patients with the kids, you know, and it is, patience is hugely important. It isn't some kind of just kind of nicey-nicey thing. It is really connected to better health, um, better relationships, success in life. It is really important. And mm. the way to do it is the tiny steps. The ordinary mundane stuff, waiting for the kettle to boil and actually saying, do you know something? I'll actually sit and watch it, <laughs> watch it yeah, boil, yeah. you know. Having the moments, that's a bit of stillness in there as well, but just taking the time to practice patience. Because as you say, stillness is in there as well as awe, but the one I like is humour. Yeah. You know, do we ever bring humour or warmth to each other's? Yeah. And do you know Simon something? really needs to work on that one. Yeah. No, I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad and patience. No, bad and spades. But do you know something? Do you know, you know the way kind of, if you ask people, do you laugh as much as you used to um, when you were younger? And for most people, maybe not for you guys, but for most people, do you know, yeah. they'd say definitely not. Life's got really serious. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it is noticing that thing. Or what I would say is, even because it really helps relationships. You start to chat better at night on the couch when you're watching TV. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'd recommend to people, if you're, you're, you're choosing a film or something like that, and you've, one is a thriller and the other is a comedy, just see what happens if you choose a comedy. Yeah. See, do things work out better for you? Yeah. Because you end up you know? laughing, yeah. Yeah. And choose the people, I often think, who make you smile or laugh, or you have a certain, exactly. certain warmth yeah, yeah. leaving them. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think Positivity. sometimes. Yeah, definitely. So there will be people who drain you, and p people who you're maybe driving home afterwards, and you're still got a smile on your face. Mm. Yes. You know? So notice who they are and keep in touch with them. And sometimes also you're the one who's giving. So that's where the generosity comes in. You're the one who maybe needs to put a smile on somebody See, else's make face. Them laugh, I told you. Make them laugh. Make them laugh. Thank you, Susanna. Thank you. Thank very you. Very interesting indeed.